All right, so let's do a stoichiometry example problem. All right, so we are going to perform a reaction of sodium metal, so that's here in, the, in our chemical equation, with water. And you notice that we are reacting this sodium metal in a bucket of water. Okay, so you should start thinking about what that means. And this reaction produces sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas which is ignited during the reaction. Now, we have a 5.3 gram piece of sodium that we're putting in a bucket of water, okay? And we want to figure out how much hydrogen gas in grams would be produced and then burned in this reaction. Now, we're given the unbalanced chemical equation for the reaction, and our job first is to make sure that it's you know, balanced one way or the other, and we, we're told that it isn't balanced, so we have to balance it, okay? So let's go ahead and start thinking about how to balance this guy, okay? Now the first thing I notice about this is that on the right side of the reaction there are three hydrogens, okay? And over here there are only two, all right? So I'm going to start by putting a two coefficient in front of these water molecules on the left side of the equation, okay? So now we have four hydrogens over here. We still have two from our hydrogen gas, which is right here, and then we have one right here. So I can actually balance up those hydrogens by putting a two in front of our sodium hydroxide, okay? So now let's go ahead and look at this. So we have two oxygens, okay, in water on the left side of the equation, okay? We have two times this one oxygen here in sodium hydroxide, so oxygens are now balanced, and hydrogens are balanced, as we said, so four and four. And then the last thing we just have to do is see we have two sodiums on the right side of the equation, and we only have one on the left. So let's go ahead and put a two coefficient in front of sodium metal, okay? So, you know, just checking, so four hydrogens on each side, two oxygens on each side, two sodiums on each side. So I, uh, we're in good shape. Okay, so now, what do we do to solve this problem? Okay, so remember, we're starting with mass, and we're starting with mass of sodium, which is a reactant, and we want to figure out how much hydrogen gas we're going to get from that in a bucket of water, which means that hydro, uh, water is in excess, okay? So there's lots and lots and lots of water around, so that's a way of telling us that we do not have a limiting reactant problem. So we can assume that we can react all of our sodium metal to produce hydrogen gas, okay? So now, we're going to start with our mass of sodium, our mass of reactant, and we need to get into mole world because that's where we're going to be able to use our balanced chemical equation, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and convert our sodium metal to moles, okay? All right, and if I look on the periodic table, then I'm going to see that sodium metal is 22.990 grams of sodium per one mole of sodium. Okay, and then if we go ahead and do the math on that, so let's 5.3 divided by 22.990, we're going to get 0 0.23054 moles of sodium. Okay, now that gets us into mole world, okay? So now, we have to use our balanced chemical equation next to be able to figure out how much hydrogen we're going to get from that, okay? So let's carry our moles of sodium down here, 0 0.23054 moles of sodium, okay? And now we're going to see how much sodium it takes to make how much hydrogen gas, okay? So I see from the balanced chemical equation, and I'm going to put moles of sodium on the bottom because that's what we need to get rid of. So we have two moles of sodium, and we just got that directly from this equation, okay? So two moles of sodium to make only one mole of hydrogen gas, okay? And 
So I'm going to go ahead and take our moles of sodium and divide it by 2, okay? And I'm going to end up with 0.11527 moles of hydrogen gas, okay? Now, again, let's go ahead and look at this again. So our moles of sodium are gone, so we canceled them out, okay? And now we're, we're in moles of hydrogen gas, okay? So that's how we got here, all right? So I am going to go to the next slide, and so and then we'll just write down this our moles of hydrogen gas, and then we're just going to convert it to mass, and we'll have our answer. Okay, so we have 0 0.11527 moles of hydrogen gas. Okay, we need to convert that to mass. All right, so in every one mole of hydrogen gas. Now we're going to look on the periodic table and H2, so 1.008 grams per mole times 2 because we have two hydrogens for each molecule. We're going to end up with 2.016 grams in one mole of hydrogen gas. Okay, so if we go ahead and multiply that, 0.11527 times 2.016, we are going to get 0.23 to four grams of hydrogen gas, okay? Now, going back to our original problem, we started with 5.3 grams of sodium, so that's two sig figs, all right? So our final answer is gonna be 0 0.23 grams of hydrogen gas, okay? Now, I do wanna mention that you could have done this all in one big problem, okay? And that's the way I do it. I like to show it step by step so you can see what's going on, but let's go ahead and write that down, how you would do it if you just did it all as one problem. So you start with your 5.3 grams of sodium, okay? We're going to convert that to moles, so 22.990 grams in one mole of sodium, okay? And then from our balanced chemical equation, it takes two moles of sodium, okay, for every one mole of H2 gas, hydrogen gas, okay. And so let's go ahead and cross those off so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. So grams of sodium are gone, okay. Now we're in moles of sodium, and then now those are gone. And then now we're in moles of hydrogen gas, Okay, so let's go ahead and now we're just doing this step up here. We're just going to convert that those moles of hydrogen gas that we made to grams. So one mole of hydrogen gas is going to be 2.016 grams of H2 gas. Okay, so now we just do the math by basically anything on the top. We're going to multiply anything on the bottom. We're going to divide. So 5.3 divided by... 22.990 divided by 2 times 2.016, okay? And so we end up with the same answer as before, and when we account for sig figs, we're going to end up with 0 0.23 grams of hydrogen gas. So you should make sure that you can do this both ways. Um, do it the step-by-step -step way that I showed at first, until you're comfortable with it, and then start realizing, so this is your mass to moles step, okay? This is your balanced equation step. So you're going to use your balanced chemical equation step, okay? And then finally, moles to mass. Okay? So all these problems are going to follow this general pattern.